Hello and welcome to That British Homestead. Today, I thought we'd sit down with a cup of tea and what I'm going to be sewing for February. So let's get started. So as you know, I have quite a large seed collection and I've been through it and I've decided to pick up everything that I can grow in Feb because I'm going to be starting and this is where the big growing season starts. It's very exciting. Right. <laughs> Let's start off with some chilies. Now, these are some silly chilies. These are the chilies I'm going to be growing in February. I do spread them out a little bit, but I do most of my sowing of chilies and tomatoes and things in the February. Okay, so I've got these ones which are called window sill chilies. I think they look really nice. Hello. So I think they look really nice. I think they look quite cute. I really like to have chilies throughout the, well, every, all the time. I I eat chilies all the time. We do grow chilies for chilli sauce um, and sweet chilli um, sauce as well. And we have fermented chilies, you, like, you name it, we eat them all day and all night. We also have them in salsa, etc. So important stuff. Got bell peppers, California wonder, I believe this is. We have double checky wecky. No, these are called YOLO Wonder. I'm also going to be doing my California Wonders as well. Do not worry. I love those. But these, I got them in, you know, in that, that advent calendar I was telling you guys about. Right, I got these. Aren't they cool? They're called YOLO. YOLO! There's 40 of them bad boys in there. Not bad at all. Boom! This one. This one is... Capsicum pepper, nice one. I like this one for dried peppers. It's really nice. Um, and they grow well, etc. I've grown them a few times. These are called Chili de Capricorn. Probably butchering that pronunciation, but they're great. Good for cooking, good for seasoning. Like those. My favourite, the old jalapeno. I love jalapenos. They are awesome. And I really enjoyed having them. I love these fermented. Fermented jalapenos are my jam. Also, I really like them in salsa. And if you've seen my can video, you know I like me some salsa. Another one that I really like, I really like these fermented, right? These ones here, I'm not going to embarrass myself by saying it, but these are Signorana Blanc Blanco Lambardo. Now, that sounds lovely in anybody else's mouth, but they are like crinkly chicken chilies at the top they're like got this like to the top okay and that's the technical term actually it is can you see my semi-painted wall behind me <laughs> i'm getting to it i'm getting to it i'm getting to it i'll get all to this but i'll get to that you see i'm going for the walk there you go i'm painting it white it was magnolia we're going white now looks beautiful doesn't it <laughs> i've like painted some of this room actually i'd say most most of this room mm, not there obviously this is black fang so black fang is a black chili once again love chilies so i want to try this bad boy i think they look really nice i think they actually darkened red just like blood which is pretty cool um yeah i'm going to try early spring early spring so I'm excited about it anyway. Okay, next thing I'm going to grow, onions. Um, I think there's two lots of onions. These are some organic seeds um, and they are going to be sown. I know what you're thinking. Oh, you didn't have enough onions. Shh. No, no. I really like the idea of canning some of the caramelized onions i think that'd be really nice so that's what i thought i'd be doing i'd grow lots and lots of onion this year very exciting i don't know I don't know why i undid all this oh yeah to see the name these are called start gut they're organic there's 600 seeds in here that's how many i want to grow this year so i don't know they're a flatter onion apparently very exciting so there's lots of herbs and lettuces and stuff like that that we're going to um, be growing. Got lettuce. This bad boy is called All Year Round. And it is from Thompson's and Morgan's. Got parsley from Wilco's. Can't go wrong with a bit of parsley. 
There's garlic chives. I love garlic chives. Do you know what? I love garlic. It doesn't matter. There's no one tastes like garlic. I love it. Garlic and onions I love. I've got some sprouting seeds. These are wheatgrass. I got these for unwinds. Um, yeah, I thought they'd be quite nice in smoothies. I really like a green smoothie. I don't know. I don't know why. It's probably because I was like, oh, this wasn't probably going to be the best for me. But now it's my fave. Um, these are Chevelle. This is simple. It tastes like aniseed. I really like aniseed. Sorry. Don't really know. I never know how to like actually use this. I just put it in like uh, mixed herbs. Herbs the province. So this is like take one. This is take one of the old um, tomatoes, right? You'll see there's new bad boys here. We've got the... Uh, I'm just going to call them pleated ones. Do you remember them from last year? They went a little bit weird, didn't they? But I'll try them again. Uh, you've got the Reese's. They ripen all in different ways. So like one segment ripens where the other one's already like gone. It's all really rotten, but we'll try these. These are sweet pea currants. Do you remember them? They're massive. These are a big bush. You've got the giant white. I really like these. Really good flavour on those bad boys. Yep, they've got to be doing done early. These ones are really good ones as well. Um, Azura... Kyra, I'm terrible at reading. Um, aren't they nice? They're really tasty. I really quite like the white yellow ones. They're really yummy. These ones, um, Muscacia. They're good for pots. I like Jasmine to grow these ones because they're really easy to grow. So if you struggle growing tomatoes, these are these are the ones for you. Um, these are a plum tomato called San Mirando. Um, now, I've grown these before, they're all right, and these came in the Canon Dat as well. I got these, I think these were 10p. I think you can't say no to 10p, can you? So we've got these ones, these are Mr. Stripey. I really like these, grew them a little while ago, and I really like those. I just think, I, just, I don't know, guys, is it the stripe colour or are they better? I don't know. They're very high yielding apparently they're just great they're a fun cocktail size i don't know what that means but that's what it says um so yeah they're easy to grow indoors and outdoors oh, that's amazing can i have one on my living room table no i want to grow them outdoors these ones another stripey one look at them bad boys Ooh, stripey so i really like those those are called taglatelia taglatelia like the pasta i guess um, I really like them, grew them again this year. They're a really nice salad tomato, apparently. But you know me, you know me. If it's a tomato, it's going to go into my tomatoes. <laughs> also dehydrate them, bad boys. Love them. Um, you've got another one. This is called Balcony Magic. <gasps> if only had a balcony. No, but obviously they're good for pots, which means they're going to be awesome in the ground as well. Yay. Five of these bad boys. This is from the calendar still. That was a good calendar. Probably get the... Um, flower one next year does that look like a tomato no um i've got these ones oh what a surprise another stripey one we've got white zebra check the stripes out once again really good tomato great flavor really mild i love this one okay love this one this one is called bum 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 drum roll all right this one's called garden peach Did you see that it's fuzzy like a peach I know what you're thinking. That's horrific. Trust me, it's really good. I don't know, I really like it. It's really sweet and it has fruit undertones. So it's it's great. I love it. Love, 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 love it. Mr. Kellogg's tomato. Like this one too. I think you have to grow this one in a greenhouse in the UK. Really nice though. Big tomatoes. Really tasty. They're like sit down good. You know what I mean? Like they're really good. Really like them, nice, light and fluffy flesh. I don't know why I have to keep looking at it like, mm, 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 mm. it's literally just a picture. I'm not even reading the writing. Mm, mm, you don't say. No, this is a really good tomato. If you can get your hand on it, Plant World Seeds, one of my favourite providers. Um, Obviously, I've paid for all of these. Dr. Witchy. Now, Dr. Witchy and Caleb Breakfast are very similar. Okay. Now, I'd, I'd look. If you only can get one, that's cool. 
both I think need a greenhouse because they're very large. They're what we call a beefy tomato. But let's see how they go. You've got the um, indigo rose. They didn't really work out well for me this year. Maybe it's because I plant them too late. I don't know because I had that big frost that like killed everything. Oh, that's my impression of a dead, to dead tomato. But it's very good. I know. Should have been an actor. Um. So yeah, these are very nice, but they stay black and then they got blight. So I wasn't impressed with them, but you don't know. Now this one is like the Russian roulette of tomatoes. Will it be a beefsteak tomato? Will it be a cherry tomato? Will it be? Could it be? We don't know until you plant it. So I thought I'd have a go. Hello. I thought I'd have a go at these again. So why not? Why not? Why not? This is one that I'm probably not going to grow. Gold Crush Currants. Do the kids love it? Yes, they do. Is it tedious to plant? Yes. Oh my God, that scared the bejesus out of me. I've got a um, hosta just behind you. It's gone to flower. And as I'm like flailing about, um, basically a petal fell off and it scared me. Okay, so these ones, are, the flavour's just not there, guys. I... I Believe it or not, with two allotments in the back and front garden, I have limited space. And I want to limit that space to something that I love. Sorry. That's number one. Let's do some root, 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 root vegetables. Okay, so. <laughs> look at that. Look, don't look at that a bit. That's gross. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Is that, I think, I think, I think that these are oh, black, Ooh, Spanish black radishes, I think, anyway. Let's have a little looky-loo. Do the elevator music. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. See that? They look radishy, don't they? Oopsie. Yeah, I'd say radishes of some description. Who knows? Well, I'm gonna grow them and see. So I think they're, I think they're black radishes anyway. Winter radishes. Some parsnips. I've recently found out. Did you know that you can grow parsnips in February? Who knew? So you can grow these bad boys February to May. I didn't actually know that. So that's very exciting. So I'm going to plant these. I've actually got a really good idea for these bad boys. And my good idea is to grow parsnip crisps. Mm hmm. Love parsnip crisps. So I actually not massive fan of parsnips and like they're growing on me i want to be someone who grows and eats parsnips okay so i'm going to be that person it's just i need to find a way that i can stomach them because so if you kind of like overcook them like dehydrate them they're really good so i'm going to have them as crispy crimbles these are called stewarts by the way i think i've forgotten to tell you the the make and brand of here these are from wilco's Wilco's, these were 50p. What a bargain. Oh, pass me sometimes. These bad boys were 10p. Look, 10p. I got them from, I think they're from B&Q. There's the B, don't know where the Q is. Right, these are called Lingo Rosso. All right, these are carrot-like uh, radishes um, from the picture. I've never grown these before. They're very exciting. Oh, I can't wait. Don't they look like carrots? I swear, I, I pick things up because I'm like, God, isn't that weird? I don't even think, oh, that looks nice. I'm just like, oh, isn't that weird? So these are the three, the three, the three musketeers of my root vegetables, which I'm very excited about. And I know you are too. Who wouldn't be? Who would not be? Right, onwards and upwards. This is part two. Tomatoes. Okay. <laughs> you thought that was the only tomatoes I was doing. <laughs> no. No. You are incorrect. Uh-uh. 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 Let's just have a little look. Okay. We have random tomatoes that I labelled. Look at this. Look at this helpful labelling. Tomato. Yeah. Don't need that. Variety. Who needs that? I just stick to the word Tomato. I know what I need, right? So there's them. There's cherries, like these ones. Red cherry, you can't go wrong. Chocolate striped tomato, one of my faves. 
obviously gonna be yummy yummy yum um what's this one beef steak they're good they're just a normal red beef steak um these ones are called cow hearts i really think these are cool if you've never seen a heart or a cow or a cow's heart or anything that's remotely looks like a cow's heart these look exactly like a cow's heart they don't at all they're nice though um ox heart once again if you've never seen a heart or an ox or a tomato they look just like an ox heart these ones I really like are uh, these are actually so yummy they're called start rollos that's their full name um they're really good i really like them they're really flavorful i bought them for their beauty but they're staying because they're yummy okay what's this one evil of olive I'm like not 100% sure on this one, but will I grow again? Oh yeah, this paint's evil olive, it's cool. White cherry, now I blame this for blight, but really do I have any evidence of it? No, was it a bad year for blight? Yes, so I might grow again, I don't know. I didn't grow it last year because of superstition. These ones are called Alaska, they look like apples. I quite like that about them. These ones are called that's what they're called can you see it fell pass that's what they're called um i remember let me have a look these are red cherries wonderful these ones i love this one purple calabash oh love that one that was really good it's purple well if you've never seen the color color purple before it's purple these ones are blue beauty these are great if you've never seen the color blue before that's what it looks like um, these ones are black crim, one of my favourite tomatoes. Do, 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 do. It's one of my favourite tomatoes, I love that one. I've been growing that for yonks. This one is called Anas Nora. I really like this one, very tasty tomato and really pretty. It was like, if if Christmas could be a tomato, it'd be this. A Agria. This one is a normal looking tomato. San Moroso, Moroso, the same one as I got in my calendar. This one is a super aroma. It's okay. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's fine. Uh, this one is a Arizona or Arachokia. Ace five five. I actually got this from my mum. Hi mum. Um, she, she. She grows a few pots every year. She has Ace 55 five and she has some red cherries that she grows in pots every year. Uh, these ones got orange and black. Guys, is it just me or are these incredibly bitter? Am I growing them wrong? All my other tomatoes are yummy. These ones, very bitter. I'll try them again. Maybe you're saying I was doing. These ones called purple. Uh, these ones are yellow pears. I really like yellow pears. On the basis, I think they look cute. They're very thin skinned though, so after a good rain, they do split, which is annoying. These are called Golden Nugget. I really like these bad boys. Um, I found them very flavoursome um, and resistant. Great, good, good variety, that one. These are called Blonde Ket... It means blonde head, I believe. And these are really good. You get big, like, I can't describe them anything else, like bouquets of um, light tomatoes. But once again, very thin skin, they do split. They're also like a pain to like trellis because they're so heavy. Orange ban banana. I don't, don't know if I've had this one before. I have to Google it. Um, green zebra, one of my favourites. Now, as I start going, this is the first sort of tomato that was weird that I got into, like, I started growing, which was green zebra. And I feel like I still say it's my favourite because it's the first one that I grew. And I was like, oh my goodness, like, oh, it's so different. But now I think it's kind of going to the wayside, but it's still a good one. Black cherry, I love... As an early, right, okay, as an early tomato, the black cherry wins, in my opinion, to what I love the most, okay? But when you get to, like, September, 
oh, my birds eat more than it than I do because they keep splitting. When it starts to get into like the rainy season, this is a rubbish tomato. But at the beginning and all the way until maybe even like the end of September, depends when the rain starts, this is a rubbish tomato. As soon as the rain starts and it gets like, we get, I don't know if you guys get this, but in the UK, it's like rain, 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 rain. Yeah, that's a rubbish tomato then. But at the beginning, oh, it's sit down good. I love this tomato, black cherry. And it's got like the cherry tomatoes that are like this big. Oh, they're really good. They're like meaty as well. Oh man, they're good. Can't wait. Chocolate pear lovely tomato i like it because i think it looks cute um this one is i really like this one asian blush tomato i really like that one this year. really do you hear me i really like this one this year because i just think it looked cool i think this is brad's atomic grape it's got to be somewhere i don't really remember but it's good that i labeled it Okay, so you have this bad boy, which is a pink celery. I have it in red as well. Um, I really like this. I actually use this all the time as a dehydrated celery. And I use this in soups and stews and anything that I'm cooking that stocks anything. I just have it like this. You know how it looks like when it's dry. But I really like this um, for that. And I do have lots of it. I might grow some this year. I might not. I don't know, I'll, I have to look to see. I think I've only got one jar left. And if I've only got one jar left, I will save it and I'll dry all of it, including the leaves. So that's very exciting. I should have really put that in with the herbs. The next one is eggplant or aubergine. Now, aubergine and eggplant, these bad boys, I really like them. I like them on the basis that I use them throughout the winter. I don't really use them in the in summer at all. But I kind of like, I saute them down if it's, that's the word steam them down don't know anyway i do that with water and i let them kind of like smush down and then i hand blend them up and i put them into you know where you do yorkshire puddings i put them in there put them in the freezer and i pop them out because it's silicone i pop them out right and then i put them in a bag and i take them out and i put them in the free in soups and stews and sauces i really like it for that last year i was like oh i'll grow less because i'm going to grow really big ones called money maker i believe or black beauty i think maybe one of each i can't remember anyway they've got huge like this and i was like oh these are way too much for me well i don't think they are actually i think i need a couple more so these are the ones i've got i've got a mixed variety i do prefer the smaller eggplant i don't, I don't even know why i think it's because i like the look of it more Mm, I don't know. Or maybe it's more manageable. I have no idea. Okay. And I've got one called Delis Delisa de Grandia. It's a larger one. And I've got these ones. These are called Turkish eggplant. One of my friends gave these to me. And these are my favourite eggplant. They're tiny. They're like this, this big. And they're stripy. And they're orange. And I really like them. Like, I, they, these ones are outstanding in flavor these ones i like these ones are like i love these but the thing is with these ones is they're really bad at ger bad at germinating naughty so it's hard to grow them um but i'm going to attempt i mean i've got a good 12 billion seeds here so i will try these are home saved what you don't buy them in the shop like this no my friend gave these for me Thank you. Okay, let's move on to the brassicas. So you start off with igloo. So igloo is a white, white cauliflower. We like cauliflower. We like cauliflower for cheese a lot. So I like cauliflower. I eat it all the time. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. And I will grow this. Um, I will grow this. And I'll eat it and I'll save it for vegetables at winter and all of that sort of jazz. And it'll be very, very exciting. The other one I've got is a Romanesco. They're really pretty. Um, I can't remember. This is the Otto Brano. 
I don't know if that's a green or a purple variety, I can't remember. Um, I've also got some cauliflower here. These are saved from my friend, the same person. Uh, they gave me them and I can't really see anymore what it says. They've written, it's all gone. So these are just random cauliflower, right? So I'm going to be growing those. I've also got this one, which is all year round. This one I got from Asda. Um, I really like these bad boys. No, what did I say Asda? I didn't get them from Asda. I got them from um, Amazon. That's the one. So these are, I think they're called all year round, are they? No, Snowball. So a snowball. They're pretty much all year round though, right? You can sow them indoors between January and February. And you grow them outside between March and May. And... Uh, September and October very exciting harvest June these bad boys these are both kohlrabi I really like kohlrabi I normally grow it in the winter but I'm going to grow some in the spring as well I'm probably going to batch sow this until August because I really like it in things like um salads and I really like it in co I love coleslaw especially in the winter my face is itchy from the dust all year round see I didn't lie see it look feast your eyes so you can sew this bad boy directly but it's all year round and yeah it's just a white cauliflower this is a broccoli carb I've never had this one before because I've grown it all and it all died so yeah, it says that it's okay to sow all the way until September. I did sow this in September and it all died. So it didn't like getting down to minus six. I'll tell you that for nothing. So I'm going to try it again. Apparently it's like a normal broccoli, but it's got a bitterer taste or a more brassica taste. We will see when the time comes. It's very exciting, isn't it? I know you're like sitting there on the edge of your seat, just waiting. Oh, when she will sow it. Okay, so we've got some more salads here. Very exciting, I do know. Um, this one is a spicy, a spicy salad, thousand seeds. These are from Simply Seeds. I've pulled off the top. And uh, these ones are frilly leaf. Do you know what? You eat with your eyes, don't you? So I decided to go for a spicy one, a frilly one, and I think a sweet one. A bright and spicy, this is a spicy one. So this one's a the sweet one then i love a fruity leaf i don't know what it's about it i just really enjoy multi-colored fruity leaves do you know what i don't even particularly like eating them i just like looking at them but i will eat them because it's important too right last but not least is another cauliflower i got this for free free now this one this bad boy this one is called graffiti it's an f1 hybrid and it's another type of cauliflower Look at it, feast your eyes. Okay, I really like cauliflower, so I'm super excited about that. Don't you see? What a bargain, it was free. Okay, so I've also got this bad boy. These are dahlias. They're pom-pom doubles, which I just, I love the name pom-pom. And basically, they are a mix of all different colours, and they're grey, and they're going to give blooms from, I think it's July, all the way up to the frost. So I want to better these bad boys. So I'm excited about them. I've also got some flowers. I've got some zinnias. Xylent, Zy the cactus version. They're like a little bit spiky. I have them in my back garden. If you see my back garden, you've seen these. Now, nasturtiums, nasturtiums. Every time I grow them, I always ruin the seeds. So... I don't know what I did. That's a brand new seed packet and I don't know what I did to it. I'm going to go ahead and try to grow them this year. These ones are the Empress of India. Exciting stuff. These ones are the uh, Sunflat Shine Mix of Zania. Z Gazia. They're pretty. That's what we went for. I think Jazzy picked these. Can't really remember. These ones, Jasmine picked. They were 10p. Can't go wrong with 10p, can you? These are an assortment of Azrana. They're pretty though, aren't they? I think they're climbers. Are they climbers? So doors, scatter seeds on compost. Oh, well, they look exciting, don't they? Uh, these ones are called Scabious, which I think is the worst name for a flower. But they look all right. See? Look. Boom. 
Um, they look like bachelor buttons in, and they are the cherry mix. So they're very exciting. These ones are dwarf sensation mix. Cosmos, love a Cosmos. These were really pretty last year. And I do look forward to seeing them again. These are sensation. These ones, I haven't managed to germinate any of them, which is a bit rubbish. Last, but never least. So, last but never least, we have bum, 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 Chinese lanterns. Now, I think there's only five, oh, 30? Wow, there's enough to take over the world. So, these spread like wildfire. So, if you're going to put these in your garden, then just understand they're going to be like the artichokes. They're going to be everywhere. Another thing I'm going to be re is artichokes, by the way. Just remember that. But these are going to be spreading their rhizomes so it's the roots that you've got to watch out for okay so i'm going to put these in a bed that they can't spread but they are super 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 good i'm i'm excited about these they're edible well at least the berries are so i remember when i was a little girl when i was a little girl i remember finding one of these little casings like the hoods and i remember thinking it was a fairy wing and that was a really cool memory and like that was when i was like jasmine's age and now i'm old and i still remember it's awesome so yeah yay so this is what i'm going to be growing in this time what are you going to be growing let us know down below and if you like this content please go ahead and subscribe because i can't grow without you so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye some more wheat. <laughs> Take that. So I just kicked Bailey's. Bailey's got these like uh, balls that are like. And I just kicked one. Can you hear my wine in the background? I'm making wine at the moment. And every so often you hear. And if you hear a. Just know it's not me. It's the wine. I'm making red wine. Can you hear my wine in the background? I'm making wine at the moment. And every so often you hear... And if you hear a... Just know it's not me. It's the wine. I'm making red wine. Where did that go? That went. Bye-bye. I... I... Blah, 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 blah.